everybody and welcome back to drawing with Paolo. Today we're going to draw a baseball batter and so you know those guys that throw balls at each other like sort of like yeah and then they hit the ball and the guys that hit the ball are called baseball batters and so it's another special request so here's the baseball batter's head and you can find some of these special requests on drawingwithpaolo.com. Here's the batter's spine and his pelvis. Here's his left thigh and his knee bent forward like that. Here's his right thigh, another sausage here, and his knee going down this way. So his bottom leg, just like that. And then we need to put in his body. So here's his left shoulder, curving down to his pelvis like this. Right shoulder, sort of like right here. And here's the other one, it's sort of over here. And this comes down from his arm, another little sausage. And then his arm on the bat is sort of this way. And here's his hand that attaches with his forearm. And then here's his elbow and goes to his forearm and his hand that's at the bottom of the bat. Baseball bat. <coughs> and his forearm that sort of comes this way. That attaches to his bicep here. Let's do the uh, side of his body here like that. Comes to attach to his arm and to his leg. Now what we're going to do is pretty much that's the basic elements that we need. We need to finish them off. So let's put a helmet on him. So he's got a baseball bat hitting or baseball hitting helmet to protect his noggin. There's his hat, like that, maybe straighter here. And then with a little bit of an ear piece, this is behind his ear. And then we're going to give it a little bit of a curvature here. And we're going to give him some face lines. <clears throat> Here's his nose. Here's his ear. Give him a little bit of a uh, cheekbones or a jawbone and his neck. And let's say we'll put his back. I think his shoulder here is a little bit too far out. So let's erase everything that's inside there. There we go. And now we're going to curve that line over again. That's better. I think that's a better look for our baseball batter. Give him his chin here. And we'll give him a uh, t-shirt opening with a sort of v-neck. So this is an easy drawing today. It's a human being, a sort of simpler one to draw. And it takes some practice to get used to it, but you know, especially in the arm department when it's time to get arms and hands coming together, sometimes that's a little bit tough. But uh, this is one of the easier drawings for those of you that have been following me for a bit. Should be able to do this one pretty well. All right, so here's his t-shirt cuts off here and here's his hand so we're gonna add his uh, knuckles here and his fingers here like that a few lines for the fingers there we go and then we're gonna do the same thing for the other hand so add his knuckles here and then it comes to attach his forearm and sort of curved here at the top and curved at the bottom there we go And uh, yeah, it's coming along pretty well. So let's work on his inside shirt here. Make him a bit thicker like that. Comes down to his belt over here. Belt goes around sort of like this. And a lot of people tend to make those super round, but they can be a little bit squarish. Here are the folds in his clothing. If you'd like to check out a lot of clothing folds, you can check out my Darth Maul drawing. Very cool Darth Maul drawing with which Helps you in drawing materials, fabrics. Okay, this this will be super uh, super light drawing today. Nothing too difficult for those of you that are just beginning. Then check out my other drawings on my YouTube channel. There's a lot of drawings there that you can see, and they start with really basic basic 3D drawings, 3D 3D shapes, and pumpkins and things like that. And then you can build your way up to the Darth Maul or uh, Yoda drawings. All right, so here's his rounded shoulder like that. And I think I'm gonna draw the shoulder line here and we're gonna finish off this outline a little bit better with a few clothing folds. And we're gonna draw the belt line. This is where it's a little loop. Put your belt in and this is belt buckle over here. Just like that. And we'll color that in nice and dark. There you go. 
regular speed today because we have uh, we've got the time. This is a short drawing, and I'm going to color all this stuff in. This is the shading because imagine the sun is coming on to, from the left side, so the right side of this character has to be in shadow, and it'll be a little bit darker over here, of course. The outline has to be darker, just like this. All right, and we'll do the same thing for the arm in a few seconds. Just redo the outlines here. We'll give him a little bit of a one of those sweatbands on his wrist. Here's a sweatband. Yeah, I just decided to put that in there. So don't be shy to change your mind as you're drawing stuff to add things that you want when you want. And a great drawing to learn about that is the centaur. I have a centaur drawing, and if you check that drawing out, you'll see that I tend to change my mind a lot as I'm going along, or I'm just really just building the drawing along as I want to. If I want to add something, I add it. If I don't want to put something in, well, I don't. It's your drawing, and you have to figure out you have to figure out how to draw that when you want to. Here's his uh, wrist over here, and we'll add his little elbow here. All right, let's uh, start working on this uh, shoulder blade, shoulder not shoulder blade, but shoulder, and add a bit more detail in the clothing here. And a little button here, and I'm going to add the, my DWP web address, or DWP Drawing with Paolo logo. If you want to see some DWP shirts, you can go ahead and visit drawingwithpaolo.wardens.com slash my slash boutique. It's written at the top of this video at the moment, and I have a whole bunch of really cool t-shirts that I've made. And speaking of which, let's color up his uh, helmet here. And uh, you can go visit that website. You don't have to buy anything, of course. I would appreciate it, but uh, check out the cool designs that I've made, the skulls and whatnot. They're pretty neat. And uh, let me know what you think on my YouTube page, or you can even send me an email. So let's add a few re reflections to this baseball helmet. We're going to color that in, make it nice and black. There you go. And we're going to make it a little bit darker over here to give it a bit of a contrast. Gives it a little bit more fleshed out look to it. All right. Not bad. Now we're going to work on his face. So baseball players always have this dark line under their eye as to reflect or deflect sunlight. We're going to color the underside, the top side of his face here, which is a shadow that comes from his helmet. And I think I'm going to give him a little bit of a mouth and maybe a tad of a goatee. Why not? Let's let's give him a little bit darker here first. And there we go. All of his right side is darkened. And let's give him a goatee like mine. So I'm going to, I'll be the baseball batter today. Here we go. This is just like my little goatee. There we go. Little mini me drawing. Color in his neck, nice and dark. And there's a little bit of space there for his collar. The t-shirt that's underneath of his baseball player shirt. All right, a few lines here for his hands, and let's color in his arm to re represent that shading that occurs for the sun. And then we're going to erase a little part here later on for where the light hits his wrist here, sort of a little bit. There you go. A little bit of shading in his hand. Same thing on this side. Let's make these lines darker. I'm not going to be erasing them, so I'll keep them. And a little bit of shading to every finger like that. Coloring his uh, armband, sweatband. A little bit of shading for his arm, forearm. Make this a little bit darker, I think, under here. Light shouldn't be able to reach in these folds, so it has to be darker in there. There we go. I'm just adding a few lines here and there which represent clothing folds, right? And it gives a pretty good effect to our drawing. Looks pretty realistic. There we go, a little bit darker over here. Draw all the way to my DWP. Let's add little uh, lines to this shirt. Depending on the baseball team, the suit will be look well will look different. So this one will be a pinstripe suit. And a few lines like this. And remember to follow the contour of your clothing. Don't make them super straight lines or else it doesn't look realistic. 
we want to make these lines that follow along and uh, follow the clothing line. So watch what I mean. So when I do this this arm, you can see that sometimes I'm pulling a straight line and sometimes I'm making it like wobbly. See, like here, this is wobbly because of the fold. You wouldn't be able to have straight lines where there are folds, right? So you want to make sure that those pinstripes are following your clothes line. If you know what I mean, the clothes folds, right? All right, let's work on the legs here. So we're going to bend this knee just like that. This is batting stance. And his calf. Of course, they have socks. So here's his, the sock line. We do his uh, right thigh here that attaches to his knee over here. And his calf that really planted to the ground. This is where he has most of his weight at the moment. He's shifting it towards the front to hit that baseball. And this is the uh, sun line here. So this is where it's going to be all dark. This whole leg here will be dark. We do the outline to this leg. There we go. There's a little bit of a curve here for his knee. A little bit of a fold here for his pants. A little bit darker here to give it some 3D look to it. And here's his other leg with a little bit of a leg muscle going like that. And then his kneecap and his calf here same thing for the far left side come to the calf curve that out and come back down and color that in and then we're going to work on the clothes the clothing folds again material does bend when you're moving around so we need to represent that in our drawing Let's make the kneecap dark here on the side and underneath, of course, where the sun can't reach. And why don't let's add some pinstriping too. So his pants and his shirt are pinstriped in the same fashion. Now, if you have a favorite baseball team, go ahead and check out what their uh, baseball team suit looks like, and you can draw that. Just base yourself on an example on the web and you can draw it out. And I'm sure you can use my drawing to help out with that. But you don't have to draw the same uh, baseball outfit. I'm going to erase here to give it a little bit of a reflection from the sun. So here we go. I'm going to use my thin pencil eraser and give it a little bit of a light reflection here. And we're going to draw in the pinstriping again. Notice what I do with the knee. The knee is not just a straight line. It's sort of curves and bends, right? Goes around the knee. These lines should follow the shape of the body as well. And it's sort of difficult at first to really understand how what these lines are doing, but one cool drawing that I've made that, that it sort of explains this is if you go see my pumpkin, the Halloween pumpkin. We're getting close to that time of year again, by the way, as far as this video is concerned while I'm filming it. So you can check it out. And those pumpkin lines are exactly the same way that we should be doing the lines on this uh, suit. All right. A lot of people have been asking me for uh, certain drawings, and I really appreciate that. Uh, but if you want to see the drawing list that I already have, check it out on my website, drawingwithpaolo.com, and you'll see list at the top. Just click on it so that you can see uh, all of the drawing requests that I've received. So some of you have been asking for the same things. Like, for example, this baseball player has been asked for a couple of times. So it was in my list, and I deleted it because it's now complete. And online. Let's add the shoes here. There we go. You might not see that too much because it's outside of the camera shot. And that's okay. You guys can try to figure out how to draw your own shoes. There's my shoe line. Here's the other shoe line on the left side here. Coloring the socks a little bit, making them gray. Maybe they're the gray socks. Nice baseball team name, the Gray Sox. Color in these shoes, nice and black. Little running shoes. Can be leather, so a little shiny. There we go. 
And we're going to draw the baseball bat next. So the baseball bat sort of comes up this way. And of course, a little nub there at the end. That's to stop the bat from just flying out of your hands. Or your hands from releasing the baseball bat. And as you can see here at the top, I'm running out of space for my baseball bat, so it really doesn't matter. You can draw that bat all the way out of the page, or you can start with a little curve line. I've erased the t-shirt that was inside that baseball bat there. And we're just going to color that all the way up. Just like this. All the way up, and then give it a little bit of a shadow here on the right side, and then give it the uh, tape that they tape around the baseball bat so that the hands stay stuck to that bat pretty well. And I'm just going to curve this off just a little bit because I am at the end of my drawing. All right, color that in a bit darker because the head here, his head is producing a shadow on the back. And then let's create an environment. I'm going to just make something super light, super simple. You guys can go ahead and, if you want anyway, draw something very detailed for the background. Here's the uh, batting mound with a little bit of grass. I'm going to draw that in a bit faster because you've seen grass a lot and you've seen hair and it's pretty much all the same. If you've been following me for a bit, here are the, uh, maybe the bleachers. Well, not the bleachers. The bleachers will be the other end. But here's where uh, people are sitting down to watch the baseball game. And maybe in here there's the, where the, the other baseball players are. So there's like a fencing, sort of like this. And I'm not going to add too many details to this just so that you guys can use your imagination and draw in your own things and uh, make the drawing that you would want to make. And for those of you out there that wanted a baseball batter, well, here he is. I hope you've enjoyed watching me today. I enjoyed doing this drawing for you, and I'm going to wish you an awesome day. And keep on watching, guys. It's been great. Have a great day, and we'll see another episode of Drawing with Paolo.